This is a patient who has hypermobility. She's been tested for EDS or airload download syndrome and that came back normal. But see how much I can move her patella. Uh, and that's normal for her. And then I'm also gonna show you, this is another test for um, hypermobility. See how her elbow <laughs> hyperextends? That's called recurvatum. And then I can bring her thumb all the way down to her forearm. Try doing that on your own forearm and thumb. You probably can't do it. And then I can hyper extend, look how much I can hyper extend her um, MCP joint. So again, just signs of ligamentous laxity. We're gonna take a look at her knee. She also has, if you can see, she hyper extends her knee. So this would be normal and this is hyper extension. So I just showed you a patient that has hypermobility syndrome. There is a condition called airload danlos syndrome, EDS. It has, depending on what study you read, between 13 to 19 different variations. They're all genetically related. So the, the gene mutation is different for each different variant. The most common is hypermobility. So there's a bit of a spectrum where you have hypermobility, uh, where people have loosey-goosey joints, versus some of the more severe cases where you can have blood vessels that rupture, you can have all kinds of problems. So I'm just gonna talk a bit more about hypermobility, which is what I see fairly often. It's about one in 5,000 people. The real severe cases, like the vascular type, is about one in 50,000. With hypermobility, we really try to focus on some physical therapy that just keeps the joint stable. Very rarely do I have to do surgery on these patients to correct their hypermobility because unfortunately, if we try to tighten up the joint, it just loosens again. The problem is you have loose collagen, which stretches, which is why you have the hypermobility syndrome.